Want to know what it's like living in Dallas, Texas? In this video, I'm going to share my top pros and cons of living in Dallas. There is no denying that Dallas, which is the ninth largest city and a population of 1.3 million people, has a lot to offer both visitors and residents. By the way, I'm Keela McGraw with the McGraw Group and I put out videos every week on my channel. I'd love for you to subscribe and keep you in touch with what's going on in the Dallas and Fort Worth market. If you want to know more about Dallas or if you are thinking of relocating to the area or know of someone who is relocating, go ahead and share this video or click the link below to contact me. We are getting emails almost daily about people who are wanting to relocate to the Dallas area. As a realtor, I know how important it is to get facts before you're relocating or considering relocating to an area. Let's dive right in to talk about some of the great things about living in Dallas. Let's start with the cost of living. According to payscale.com, the cost of living in Dallas is about 4% higher than the national average. Average. Along with that, housing cost is about 3% higher than the national average. So let's talk about the median price of a home in Dallas, which is about $420,000 as of July of 2022. Now $420,000 is not going to get you Taj Mahal. We're talking about a condo or a townhouse or maybe even an older ranch style home. So it's not gonna be a new construction home or anything like that. Let's talk about groceries. So everybody needs a local grocery store or somewhere to shop for their food. Groceries are actually 2% lower than the national average. So overall, the cost of living in Dallas compared to other cities, its size is very affordable, which is why a lot of people are relocating here. Another great thing about living in Dallas are the job opportunities. There are job opportunities for not only small businesses or small business owners, there are also great opportunities from larger corporations and businesses. Industries that are part of the Dallas market include aviation, financial services, healthcare professionals, high tech, hospitality, logistics, manufacturing and construction. Another interesting fact is that there are 23 Fortune 500 companies in the DFW Metroplex. That is the second most in the country. In fact, Dallas-Fort Worth added 294,700 jobs in the last 12 months alone. So as you can see, a lot of people relocate to the area because of the plethora of opportunities they have in the job market, but also as an entrepreneur. Another positive about living in Dallas is the schools. Now, I was kind of shocked at the rating that Dallas Independent School District had, but according to Texas Education Agency, the 2018-2019 overall school district rating for Dallas ISD was a B. And if you think about it, this district has over 140,000 students that they are servicing. So to get an overall rating of a B as a district is quite the undertaking. And so I want to give my hat off to Dallas ISD for doing such a great job with educating students. And that is another draw to relocating to the area. Now you also have charter schools and private schools that you can look into for educating your, your child. But just know that Dallas ISD's overall rating is, is up there. It's, you know, a B is, is not bad at all. Another big draw to Dallas is the culture. And when I mention culture, there are tons of entertainment, but also educational type things that you can take advantage of. There are a number of cultural attractions in Dallas. Some of those include the George W. Bush Presidential Center, the Sixth Floor Museum at Dealey Plaza, Perot Museum, Dallas Museum of Art, Nasher Sculpture Center, the Black Academy of Arts and Letters, the Dallas Zoo, and we can't forget about the Dallas Aquarium. There are also a number of festivals that happen in Dallas. One of the big ones is the St. Patrick's Day Parade, which happens every year. It's a big deal. Thousands of people flood the streets annually for this St. Patrick's event. It's been going on for over 35 years, and so it's a big draw. The parade features more than 90 colorful floats that ride along Greenville Avenue. So honestly, this is an event that even if you aren't big on St. Patrick's Day, it's usually that time of the year when the weather is changing and things like that. 
that. And so people just want to get out. And this parade is just a great event to have an excuse to go out and have a great time. Another great thing about Dallas is the food. The food scene, if you're a foodie like me, which I am a big foodie, the food scene in Dallas does not disappoint. Dallas is a foodie's dream city. There's something for everyone. It's most known for its barbecue steakhouses and Tex-Mex. The barbecue scene is definitely one that you want to check out. You have Pecan Lodge, Lockhart's, Slow Bone, Cadillac, Sunny Bryan, and a whole lot more. So if you come to Dallas, you have to check out one of these barbecue spots. And if you need a recommendation, just send me a DM and I will send you some great spots to check out. Another great thing that I want to mention about Dallas are the people. So the people here are super friendly. It's one of the things from even when I would visit Dallas as a child, I always noticed that people were so friendly here. So you need to come experience Dallas, meet some people and get a good feel for what I'm talking about when it comes to that Southern hospitality. Another cool thing about Dallas is the entertainment scene. And you can't talk about Dallas and entertainment without mentioning the State Fair of Texas. The State Fair of Texas is the longest running fair in the nation. You have everything from the famous Fletcher's Corny Dogs to the big Ferris wheel that you can see from the highway as you get into Fair Park. The State Fair of Texas brings 24 days of entertainment for families in the area, and it's just a great place to hang out, break from school, break from work, enjoy some crazy food. They always have the fried foods that you can try out and things like that. It's just a great experience. I personally go for the food, not the rides. Another big event that happens every year is the AT&T Red River Showdown. And this is a huge event between two rival colleges, University of Oklahoma and the University of Texas. It happens every October. Dallas just gets flooded with fans and alumni and students from both of these universities. And it's been going on for over a hundred years. For entertainment, you also have your professional sports teams. So you have the Dallas Mavericks, as well as the Dallas Stars, both play at the American Airlines Center. And then of course, just about 20 to 30 minutes down the road in Arlington, you also have the Texas Rangers and the Dallas Cowboys playing. So Dallas definitely has its fair share of professional teams that you can support and cheer on. I think that's one of the great things about living in a city like Dallas because you don't just have just one sport. You have several to choose from for entertainment purposes. So we've talked about some of the great things about living in Dallas. Let's talk about some of the not so great things about living in Dallas. And the first one I wanna talk about is the weather. So the climate of Dallas is rather warm. <laughs> the average temperature in July and August is about 96 degrees. So if you're comparing this to other states that are further north, that is a pretty hot summer if you're looking at those temps. On average, you're going to see about 20 or so days of 100 plus degree temperatures, but you might see 30 plus days or even 40 plus days of 100 plus degree temperatures. So just be aware that the summers are pretty brutal in Dallas, so be prepared. As far as the spring, winter, fall, very mild. In the winter, you do get some freezing temperatures, but you don't see snow usually every year. You see it every once in a while. A lot of people enjoy the mild winters here. So brutal summers, mild winters, tomato, tomato. Another thing that you will experience relating to weather are tornadoes. Yes, we are in the southern tip of Tornado Alley, so we do get our occasional tornadoes in Dallas. You'll also see some severe storms with hail and high winds. And of course, this can, you know, wreak havoc on your roofs of homes. So just be aware that if you see a ton of roofing companies with signs in the yards, we probably just had a huge thunderstorm that had high winds or hail and damaged roofs. So that is a con of living in the Dallas area. So we have to talk about crime as a con as it relates to living in Dallas. According to neighborhoodscout.com, so on the crime index scale with 100 being the safest, 
Dallas lands at a five. Of course, like all cities, some parts of Dallas may be impacted negatively by crime than others. So just do your due diligence and, and do your research. So with a population of 1.3 million people, you can probably imagine that traffic is not delightful. Dallas ranks sixth as one of the cities with the worst traffic, according to a recent study. So yes, the traffic is not the best. There's usually a lot of construction projects going on, not only on the highways, but also in downtown Dallas. So just be aware that traffic is going to be a part of your life if you decide to live in Dallas. Another thing is that sometimes you have to pay to drive on roads, and I'm talking about toll roads. So Dallas does have some toll roads. There aren't a ton of them, but just know that certain highways, you may have to actually pay to drive on them and utilize them. So my advice would be to get a toll tag. That is something that will save you money in the end. It's one of those things where as you drive on the highway, you don't have to stop and pay at a toll booth or anything like that. It just simply scans your toll tag and sends you a bill at the end of the month. Another, I hate to say negative thing about living in Dallas, but we are feeling the squeeze here, is the huge population increase that we're experiencing. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, Dallas had the largest population gain of any U.S. metro area. So with that gain, we're seeing more traffic, we're seeing a hardship on resources, with more people. And of course, with that, there is more competition when it comes to housing. So just know with population increases, there are stressors that come on the local area. Another not so great thing about living in Dallas is the landscape. So Dallas is relatively flat when you think about a place to live. There's not a lot of scenery. The trees look like their growth has been stunted, so you're not gonna get those tall, lush, looking green trees. The, the landscape is just kind of blah. So not a lot of hills and beautiful landscapes here in the Dallas area. If you're looking for that, you'll probably have to go to the hill country or somewhere near Austin. But Dallas is not gonna be your place if you're looking for interesting landscape features like that. So if you live in Dallas, drop a comment about what your favorite restaurant is or if there's something that I missed, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.